So yeah, so we've had uh, quite a few conversations in the past little while, uh, Mario, about you know digital transformation and what it actually means to the, to the workplace and and what it actually means to the, to the front line and and overall for the organization. And and something you had brought up was that you know the digital transformation for you has seemingly being been more of a cultural transformation, or or that's where we should start thinking about it. Uh, maybe you want to elaborate on that for for the audience as far as what the experience has been at Technica. Yeah, no. What we found uh, on our journey from a digital transformation perspective was um, it was very much a marriage between the right technology and the right corporate culture. Um, we could have, for example, had the best technology in the world, and without the right leadership and culture, uh, it would have not adopted well and not been successful. On the other hand, we could have had the greatest leadership in the world, and if we didn't have the technology to support it and back us up, we wouldn't have been successful either. So we've been really lucky to partner up with Sophie and um, the changes that we've seen are, are transformational. Um, it's been a, a world of beautiful unintended benefits that we didn't see going into this. Um, and we can talk more about that. Eric, is there anything that you wanted to uh, to ask Mario as we dive into the, uh, you know, the, the transformation that's been seen at Technica? Yeah, it's, it was fun to start, you know, planning for this episode and talking about and looking at it from the, the perspective of a cultural transformation as opposed to digital transformation. Because for a long time, that's how I saw it, talked about it, you know, pr- participated in it from that perspective. And only after we start talking about it, getting to reflect, you know, on it in the last week or so, do I really start to see how it goes hand in hand. They're both happening kind of symbi- symbiotically. Some of it, like, you can't have one without the other, and it's fun to get to watch and interact it and, and promote it and to like do little things to try to like influence the culture and steer the culture through like really really small actions. So, Mar, maybe want to share on some things that you've kind of seen or done or uh, observed. I know you're on it all the time and you're you know checking the platform and you know messaging us or sending us an email or positive recognition. I saw this morning, and that's not because of the technology that's because who you are as a person and the culture you're trying to build and instill in the company but is that something you would have maybe foreseen no i didn't see it coming at all and i think that's where i go back to the point of you know we could have had the greatest culture and leadership here at technica but with without having that platform and sophie that allowed us to be so present in the workforce and so if i back up uh, a little bit to talk about culture one of the things that you know eric you, you've known this um in our experience of Technica starting from a small company that, and we're looking forward to, to be able to conclusively prove it with data, but we do know uh, from our experience that an engaged worker is a safe worker, uh, is a productive worker, is someone who's going to be really present at work um, and going to be to their best ability. And so when we're small, we were able to forge those relationships. We were able to know everybody's names, child's names, birthdays, and it was great. When you have a small company of five to 10 people, it's very easy to do. As you grow to 400 plus people, it becomes increasingly more difficult. Um, from a leadership perspective, the leadership team still had that same mentality, that same entrepreneurial drive to be the company that we are today, but we still needed a tool that enabled us to be connected to our workforce. And so when we first started our digital transformation, it went from, okay, so let's go from paper to paperless. And then we decide, oh, wow, okay, so we're going to get this data. What are we going to do with the data? But then something beautiful happened uh, with Sophie and absolutely unexpected was that ability to be in communication with her workforce, that ability to see who we were as an organization culturally, because we knew that good culture equals good performance. Um, And so Sophie allowed us to be in contact with her workers. It allowed us to really uh, amplify our positive recognition and not only do we hold each other accountable we really acknowledge when people do good and outstanding work what that does is it continues to build the culture of the organization it be, continues to build a presence with everybody at work and then by default we end up having a safer more productive work sport, workforce we did not see that coming in our digital transformation so the the really um unintended benefit of implementing Sophie in our digital transformation was that corollary between culture and safe performance. 